Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 3. And this time I decided, since we're on episode 40 now, it's kind of hard to believe, honestly, but uh, figured it was time we uh, set out to uh, the pit. So I'm heading up here towards the radio signal. And we will begin. I really, really like this DLC. I really wish they would have expanded on uh, it, it a little bit, you know. But... I've got a few mods on that should add a few things without uh, skewing the entire DLC much. Make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> Guess I better start collecting items, huh? Gotta have, uh, gotta have it all. Thank you for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who <laughs> I am. Who are you? I came because of the radio message. What's the problem? Well now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's, well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. Uh, do you escape or something? Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. Wait, slow down. A cure for what? The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. What do we need to do first? Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Um... Yeah, sure, a disguise is a good idea. I'll do okay. that. You go get the outfit. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. You won't be coming back here for a while, so keep that in mind. Alrighty. Just gonna loot these raiders real quick. Throw down armor. Metal armor standard. <coughs> Whoa. Pardon me. So the last time I did the pit, um, it was actually one of the first series of, uh, that I did on YouTube. I've been through Fallout 3 before. It was back in the day. About the first three quarters of the episode, or the, uh, series, I did was before I even did commentary, so it's pretty old. But on that one, I did, uh, I actually sided with the pit raiders. There was a few reasons for that because the entire situation is kind of a gray area. Kinda. Not really. I mean, they are slavers. More or less, even though they don't call themselves that. <clears throat> but this time I'm going for... I'm gonna help out the slaves this time. So that's the plan. Besides, this time I really want... <laughs> something that the boss... The pit boss has. I went and I dropped basically everything I had from the last episode other than my shotgun and my Chinese assault rifle. And I grabbed some just kind of beat up combat armor I had lying around. Still got uh, more or less everything else. Because I'll lose my stuff for a while when I get there. So 
So here we have some dirty slavers. Bye. Try not to shoot the slaves. Problem solved. So the um, the unique mods I'm using for <coughs> excuse me for the pit, I'll list them below. Uh, outside of the Google document that lists all my other mods, I have one on called the Pit Reforged, which is kind of a bug fix mod, as far as I know. It just I uh, kind of some quality of life kind of things. Then I have one on called the Pit Merchant that adds a. Uh, Add some utility to a disused area outside of the pit. And I have one called, let me see. The other one is, uh, oh, the pit house. Adds a little player home uh, in the pit. So it's kind of more useful if you're siding with the Raiders. And then I have one called the Wolf Street Hotel, which adds a new building, which I've never used before. So I'll be interested to see that. Anyways. Whoa. Oh my god! Are... You killed them! Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? I'm not taking you anywhere. Oh, never mind. You're free now, but I need help dressing like a slave. Wait. We're free? You're serious? You killed them and we're just free to go? You're either the kindest person in the world or the dumbest. Either way, thank you. I can help you. It's the least I can do. What is it that you need? Um, I need your clothes. Give them to me now. No, I need a set of slave clothes. We're that guy something. over there on the mattress died last night. I never did get his name. If you don't mind the smell, you can just take his. Uh, yeah, thanks. Be careful out we there. We will. Thank you again, stranger. We owe you our lives. No, you don't actually have to. Do, uh, do this to get in. You can just walk in, carry in, whatever. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure why I told Warner I'd get the disguise, but whatever. Maybe I'll do All it right. anyways. You got a disguise. Good, good. We're ready to head out. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. Yeah. All right, meet you over tunnel. Whatever you tunnel. say, hero. Just don't take too long. We need to get started. This ain't a short trip. It is for me. Alright, well. Let us be off to Pittsburgh. I think it would be a cool location for a Fallout game. Uh, oh, and I crashed. That's nice. Um, but if they put it in the pit, say, in the past. Like, because the Brotherhood came through and kind of killed everything at one point. Uh, or something. I think it would be a cool place. Anyways, there we go. This tunnel leads to a complicated network of tunnels and old highways that travel far to the northwest to the pit. The going will be rough and harsh. Supplies will be scarce and you won't be able to return until your business there is concluded. Travel to the pit. All right. No, someone's coming. Let me do the talking. Looks different than I remember. Must be the ENB and the weather. The brighter. All oh, right, I'm supposed to be. Oh, I'm not gonna put that stuff on yet. Hey, hey! What are you guys doing here? I might ask you the same thing. Got a lot of guts coming back to this place, Warner. Yeah? Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have a lot of guts. You don't. Nope. It's on. Yeah, I remember the pit being a lot more, uh, red. 
red and gloomy looking. Must be because I have a weather mod and uh, ENB happening. The upside is I'll be able to see better. Maybe it's just out here. Definitely doesn't look the way I remember it. Okay. Sorry, I'm here collecting unique armor types. He always does that. He always shoots the corpse for a while. Okay. Okay. It's actually my first time playing the pit with uh, retexture mods and graphics mods and an ENB and stuff, so I imagine it's gonna look a bit different. We got that armor type. It's vanilla armor types. Ordinance armor. <clears throat> Some of these aren't meant for, they're meant for specific sexes. But, uh, I still collect them anyways. This is as far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. Don't expect to take anything you have in with you. They'll strip you clean. But I'll find a way to get your things back to you. Once you're inside, find a slave named Adia. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. You didn't find Medea. Got it. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you. All right, but hold, hold your horses. Gonna check everything out. Which means out here too. If there's any stuff, yeah, I'll get my things taken. Later on, though, I'll get them all back. So for a while, I'll have to rely on... Uh, stuff I find, which is fine. One of the reasons I originally... Oh, I like this armor. One of my favorites from here. Uh, one of the reasons I originally helped the raiders as opposed to the slaves, was just to keep the city a, a little more alive feeling because the raiders are all already at home there. It was more just an immersion thing for revisiting it for me. Definitely wasn't the necessarily the good karma ending. However, it is kind of a gray area because you have to do some things that don't quite feel right even helping the slaves. But we're going to help them out this time. Right. I like the iconoclast, or iconoclast, whatever you call it, armor. Pretty cool. Especially once you get the uh, filtration helmet thing later on. Should be a camp of some scabbers or something here. It looks so much different without the red sky and stuff. I tried turning my weather mod off to uh, get the original atmosphere back and it didn't have it still, so whatever. I mean, it's gonna look uh, less gloomy than it used to this time. Hi there, wild man. It's go time, he says. Should have brought a better gun there, buddy. 
somehow he tumbled forward. Interesting. Oh, no, didn't want that. I already got some of this armor. All the Merc armor. I really like the, um, just the, the atmosphere and the style. It's kind of a shame I don't have the, uh, unique weather type here. But I, I'm interested in seeing how different it looks with it, uh, with the weather cleared up. But I really like the, just the architecture building types and stuff they added for the pit. They used to use them a lot when I was making cities in the editor and stuff. This tunnel over here is all blocked up. Can't go out there. So this... Oh. Ah, uh, the trogs. Pittsburgh so yeah this was used to be blocked off over here and this pit merchant mod opens this up and uh, just adds a few spots back here I forgot to there we go do that again apparently it adds some trucks but yeah this used to be a disused area I remember there's a, there used to be a chain link fence there and I remember on Xbox going and finding metal barrels to pile up so that I could get over the fence so that I could explore. So, oh wow. Some of the backdrops and stuff. Ah! I tried so many times to get into the river and <laughs> legitimately uh, explore different parts of the city that I wasn't supposed to access. Yeah, it's cool having this area opened up. Luckies. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll be seeing lots of these guys. Gotta love the physics in the older fallouts. Looks like just a little convenience store. Mm hmm. Can't help it, I always gotta pick up Nuka Cola. I forgot to make my railway rifle. I'll have to remember to do that when I get back to the capital wasteland. Hey, skill book. Terminal. Wow. Lucky. What was that? That open. I don't see a safe. Oh. Sneaky. Alright. That's about it. Let's get out of here. Abandoned house. I don't remember there being other buildings other than the merchant house. The more, uh, depth you can add to the pit, the better. I felt like they could have done more to, uh, get you into other, more areas of the city. It's a huge city. It's so, I mean, 
I remember initially being a little bummed out when I played uh, the pit on Xbox <clears throat> because uh, it wasn't that huge considering it's a huge city. I mean, it's decent size, but anyways, still really loved it. This place is blocked up. Here is the building that, that was another building that was added. There should be a merchant and a doctor in here. Pool hall. And why is there trogs in here? I thought it was supposed to be clear. Just have friendlies in here. Once I get the auto axe, dealing with these guys will be a lot more entertaining. Oh! There's a lot oh. of them in here. Come on. Years and years and years ago, like 10 years ago, when I oh. used to... I used to be in a, a metal band with my friends back in the day, and we did this little, um... We did this little side project where we just kind of goofed off. We were young, we basically just got trashed and made random stupid songs with like shitty sounding instruments and stuff. Anyways, we called it Trog Hunter. <laughs> and these trogs were like our little mascot on the album covers. It was funny. Good times. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember there being this many trogs in here. They're all dead. They're not supposed to be dead. They're supposed to be alive. I'm supposed to be able to come in here to trade and talk to a doctor. Looks like... Oh, he's alive. He's alive. He must be essential. I thought I was going to have to use my powers of resurrection there for a minute. He's got one of my favorite guns in the pit. You get some really cool items from here that I really like using. Use the doctor, man. Hey there. And yeah. he's just a doctor. He'll heal you and all that good stuff. I didn't really get this because I needed the utility for these NPCs. I got it more just to uh, add more spaces to explore in the pit. And it was well done enough that it felt natural. We'll see about this Wolf Street Hotel one. I've never used that before. Still hostiles. I thought there was another friendly. Glad I brought the shotgun. Sneak skill's really trash. I should level that some. Um, that up a bit. Two into that. There we go. Um, don't need explorer. Uh, da, da, da. This is a good one. If I sneak, will be useful to have leveled up a bit more than I have it. Could have sworn there was... Oh, maybe he's over here. Could have sworn there was a merchant guy, too. Not just a doctor. 
Guess I'm wrong. No, it's just a doctor. Maybe he's buys and sells stuff and I just completely missed it. Anyways. Cool little mod. Adds a bit more depth. <clears throat> Without uh, overdoing it. Makes use of a neglected area of the map. Well, you just get a picture and then we'll uh, head in. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, actually, we're not going to be in there yet. Two more people to fight. And we got to watch out on this bridge because it's very mined. Free XP in mines, though. Bear traps over there. Why is there one back here? We'll never know. Oh, I guess I have the perk that, um... I won't set these off anymore. It's good. Let's disarm them anyways. Yeah, I... Hold on. <clears throat> I remember spending lots of time trying to get down the river to see if there was some Easter eggs or something I could see down there. Oh. <coughs> Sometime later, <clears throat> maybe before I head home, I'll uh, do some no clipping and our free cam and show you what's uh, <coughs> what's outside the accessible areas here. Not gonna do it right now in the dark. Should be sniper somewhere around here. Up there. Free experience. It doesn't matter if you uh, get rid of all these mines. There's still someone who inevitably steps on some, or a few people that do, I guess. smoking want to be near that thing there's gonna be a chain reaction explosion here I can just feel it let's get away yep maybe not all right let's go up here in this guy's little hideout <coughs> ah excuse me The, um, the river will kill you damn fast. Damn fast. Really love this city. I think it would be a great place for them to actually fully revisit. And it's got some interesting backstory tied to the Brotherhood of Steel and stuff. I think if maybe you set the game back into that era when the Brotherhood swept through, it would be interesting. Not sure if I got all the mines. I think I did. <coughs> Before we head uh, further, I'm just going to do a hard save. These guys. They always come running by. They actually got shot this time. Usually they start running off that way and they hit invisible mines and get killed. 
Alright, I guess we should probably put on the slave outfit. Before I go in though... I have a worn one. Sorry, I'm gonna collect it even though I'm not gonna use it. You hit knuckles. I'm just gonna poke around out here. <clears throat> I don't think there really is anything. There's this one building that's kind of enterable. Just like the capital wasteland, it's conveniently blocked off in the city by piles of rubble. Can't go in that one. No, I can't. Not sure who was staying here. Anyways. I love it. Another slave wanted back here, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why I should... Wait, what the... Now would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Gab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get to work. Or next time I'll just stake you out there for the trogs. So yeah, I will get my stuff back. Oh, he's actually wheeling the gate. I've never noticed that. All right, here we go. Oh dear, semi past my house. All right. And these people just got greased, but we missed that. Well, or they haven't yet. Never mind. They're about to, though. Okay, I've got a missing texture. Your friends Looks like dead. I need a. You're next if you don't talk. You help them escape. I know it. We can do this the easy way, or the I'd break you in fucking halfway. Your choice. Fine. Have it your way. Fucking talk, you piece of shit. Nothing I can do about that. Looks like the Wolf Street Hotel is giving me some problems. I'm gonna have to turn that mod off. But I'm just gonna stop here anyhow, because now we're in the city. It's gonna be several episodes of this. I'm not gonna make them real long. Uh, well, any longer than they need to be, but here we are. We're now in the pit. <laughs> I've gotta go turn that mod off, I guess, unfortunately. Because that shouldn't be happening. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.